hello friend this is sopnil and welcome to learn sap app app so in this video we are going to see how to find the list of variant and it's a value of any app, app program okay uh, so friend uh, first we will see what is a variance okay so variant is a concept of saving a set of input fields with the value with a particular name uh, so that we can use the same set of input next time okay uh, or you can say like uh, variant are an interface between the user and the selection screen they can be used both in a dialog and a background mode okay so without wasting our time let's go to the app, app editor and we will see the uh, see it practically but wait if you are the first time on my channel then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification of my upcoming videos okay so let's start okay so i am in my uh, app, app editor so what we are going to do is uh, so today we will see uh, how to get the variant and its a corresponding value of any any programs okay so for that we just need to write one simple program okay so it's a very simple program okay so we just need two uh, two things for this uh, kind of for this uh, for this program first is a table uh, and second is a function model okay i will show you the table so so there is a table called where id okay so in this uh, where id is a table where we are uh, this table we will get the report uh, name and it's a in this table we will get the report name and it's a corresponding variant okay so whatever variant we have stored at the time of the testing phase so that uh, those variant will get st stored in this very table in this variant table okay and we have uh, some uh, second table second function model as a rs variant content okay so in this uh, so let's check the importing parameter if you check the importing parameter of this function model so in this function model we have a call uh, import parameter as a report and a variant okay so for this uh, so for this function model we are just going to pass the report and the variant name and we will get the data in, inside this uh, value tab so so now you will think how we will get the variant okay so variant name we will get from this table okay so let's start with the uh, practical session just creating a selection screen selection screen begin of block p1 and selection selection screen end of block b1 okay and what you are going to, going to do is you just take the one parameter i'll say parameters p program type okay so what type we will do we will check the, so this program we have to pass to the function module so we'll check the type of the function module so what is the type so rsr report report you can see this one so we'll take this uh type for this function mode for this report okay so now what we have done is uh, we have just created a selection screen with the parameter called as a program so in this uh, in this selection screen we are going to pass any program name so it will retrieve us to the uh just to the variant and it's a value okay so i start with the coding part so okay so we'll write the event as start of selection okay to enter okay so what i'm doing i'm just i will just select the data select so what i'm going to do, uh, select is let's uh, take the look of this table this table is very ready we are just going to to face the report and it's a variant name okay from this step so select report report variant variant from vrd in into table at the rate data l lt where id okay if say if say savas is initial if it's initial what we will do uh, we will just sort this thing okay sort by report and variant name sorry uh, where where report equal to at the rate p 
program okay name of the inputting parameter pretty printer here just comma okay okay so now we have done with our program but we have done with our first part so what we are doing here here we are just passing the program name from the selection screen and this table we will uh, find from this table we will get the variant name of this particular read okay what how how many you uh, it doesn't matter how many variant is available it will return all the variant and it all the variant available for this program over for the corresponding program okay so now now we have to call the function module so we we'll just click on the pattern click on rs variant content so rs various content save okay okay so now as you can see here we have to here we have to just pass the report name and the variant name okay so now let's suppose we are giving here p as a program name and for the variant so now okay so there can be a possibility to get the multiple variant name from this table okay so what so for that case what we are going to do is we will just loop this table so we will write one loop is into data ls where id okay and Okay, so we are writing this function module inside the loop because there is a possibility to get the multiple variant name for this particular from any program. Okay. Okay, so now we have to pass here variant name. Passing variant name here. Okay, so now so now as you can see here a value tab in the value tab is value tab we will return all the value for all the value maintained for this variant okay so for that okay so we have to just define the table tab here uh, so we have to just de uh, declare the internal table here so lt val tab type standard table of type so let's go to the function model again which I click on the table the table will see the like panel now it's a structure so i will take this as a parameter okay so value tab okay just we will we'll just remove the unwanted code With unwanted code, pretty printer. Okay, so now what we have done is so now we have done with our uh, function model part. Okay, so, so now so now we have we have to just display this uh, data. Now we have to just display the data, whatever data we have in this table in the output, okay, in the output screen, okay. So for that, like what we will do, uh, we will just call the function model call. We call the function model. Uh, first of all, we need to declare the field catalog, right? Field catalog, okay. So let's. Okay, fill catalog. So for the fill catalog, um, I will just pass the structure. Okay, so we'll call the function module on you LV fill catalog. Okay, fill catalog much the function module is there. Just pass the function. Okay, call the function module, it will create a fill catalog. Okay, so now here, as you can see, here I need to pass the structure name. Okay, so here structure name. So we'll go to the SC11 and structure name. Okay, we'll pass the structure call and set test variant. I have already created this structure. Okay, to save over time. So, okay, so now as you can see, now you are thinking which field I am passing over here. Okay, it's not a big deal, like uh, the field that I am passing in this function model this structure is nothing but the field uh, the structure we are getting for this function model okay so let's have a look on for this rfc variant content so in this function model we have a table called value tab right so here is a table as you can see here table value that we have rs 
param okay if i double click on this function as you can see name kind sign option low high is the structure of rsvn at the same so i'm just taking the same field for our requirement as okay because we are just going to display the whatever data we are retrieving from this function model on the alv screen okay so these are the same fields okay so just copy and paste uh, you can also copy and paste if you want okay so i'm just passing the name here g test g test and variant a r e n t variant middle mistake variant name should be a o here that's fine the exporting okay and here we just need to define a field catalog so we'll define a field catalog empty field Whatever we can type yes. If we get lock LV, okay. As this is our field get lock, am I right now? Let's confirm uh, long type this clock we will pass here, okay? So it will give us first the field catalog. Confirm the uh, structure of the LT field cat uh, lock the changing parameter SLST field catalog LV. Just copy, okay? I made a mistake. I took the filter instead of group filter we will take this is our typing mistake sorry okay so we have done with first now we will call the function now we will call the function model okay we we'll use alv grid display okay activate okay so in this function module pass the table name as a the value tab and the value tab and so uh, will uncommon exporting parameter i will pass the fill catalog in this well in this function module okay it will uncomment it we'll comment the exp exception as well Printer. okay so now we are done with our coding part okay okay so we'll take a look what we have done is like we have just created a selection screen and the selection we have called the parameter called the program name so in a program name the program name so right uh, so now here we are just uh, fetching the data from this where are the table this table will give you the report and it's a corresponding variant what are the variant available and what we are doing after that like we are just passing this uh, variant name to the function model to get the value for the value in this value table okay so let's see the uh, see, okay so now we'll show you the one program to which program i'm going to so here is my program set test uh, radio if you have a look for this program so as you can see here i have a two variant okay select uh, learn sap app and variant okay we will show you the output as uh, so the data is today it is made for maharashtra and if we, if, if we select the test variant then you will get the two names will first name last name all these are the value for this variant okay so we will pass this program name to our program set is ready let's see how data it is retrieving so we'll go to the check and activate okay so we'll pass the program name if i will execute okay so let's find the reason google hmm. will get long will get live okay so we have passed the wrong name what is our name let's go to the okay it's a zs variant sorry for the spelling mistake Okay, and here it's a variant. Okay, check and activate. Let's execute again. Then, Z test radio.
and if I will execute and okay made us a mistake uh, it's only retrieving the last data we just need to what I will do is insert the loop we'll create the one more table call as a LT final LV type standard table on the same table okay table and this final table we will take in we will just append the value from this table to this table okay so inside the loop what will I append lines of lt well tab to well tab okay then clear lt well tab okay and the same table we will just pass here also okay so check and activate so same table we are just passing in the reuse LV grid displays okay now let's see the output let us okay so now as you can see here as you can see now this is a very uh, difficult to understand the values for which variant right because you also don't know we have in the selection two variant right variant but as you can see here you can't see any variant name only you can see that selection okay and you cannot even find this proper name okay so let's fix this thing uh, so we'll add one more field as a variant and okay so for that what we need to do oh, we will just go to the, our z test variant uh, here what we will do we will add one more field as a variant okay variant and its type is also variant okay okay so now we'll go to the program in the program what we will do we just change the type of this table to our structure okay because this thing we have to display in output right test variant okay test variant and now what we will do here instead of appending what we will do we will just comment this thing and we will write loop at lt value tab into data ls well tab and then what we will do then move corresponding ls value tab to just need to define structure and structure in the sense work area none will be type this variant take this thing here to okay we are appending and here we just need to fill the variant name also okay variant so from variant from where we are getting uh, this very okay because we are variant we are getting from this we are id table okay so we'll pass this variant name here okay then append ls final alv to lt final alv and clear ls final alv pretty printer Check and activate. Okay, and here we will pass one more parameter in order to check the column pro in order to see the column structure properly. So what is that? LS layout. Okay, so we'll copy this type from this table. Pass here LS layout equal to ld lay sorry ls ls lay okay and we'll define the ls lay here something ls layout type the type which we have copied okay and in this ls lay what we are passing ls layout we will pass 
coral with optimization is equal to about true okay is equal to x check and activate so is layout okay check and activate execute we'll write the z test radio and if i will execute okay so now as you can see here our uh, for our program there we have a two variant right learning step ever and the second is test radio okay so as you can see the for this variant we have this value as a selection type it's a, it's a parameter and it's uh, like fluid field value field value in the sense low whatever value we have put in the low it will come under this field value and this will come as a value high okay so in case if you have the select option in the screen then you will receive here as a s and the low value here and the high value here okay so this as you can see variant name in the text variant so now you can identify uh, this uh, value for which variant right the learning variant we have this values maintained on the selection screen and for this test variant we have this value if you like this video then press the like button below if you have any doubt then write me in the comment section below if you want to learn more about a app then visit to my website www.learningcpapapp.com the link is also given in the description and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification about my next upcoming videos okay so friends bye signing out